we are in the single digits till Christmas. I am thriving, I am living, and I'm traumatic, so nothing's too new around here. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This year I have read a total of 64 books from like stopping right now today. I will keep reading this year, but like I've already reached my Goodreads goal. So they're just like icing on the cake now at this point or the cherry on top of the Sunday, whatever that saying is, this is what these books, you know, those books are. But so I read 64, which I'm proud of. My Goodreads was 52. So I outdid that. Um, but really what I did this year was read a lot of new authors that I have never read before. They were completely new to me. Uh, I kind of went into my romance era this year. I started off the year with some thrillers and then I just went into romances and that's all I read the rest of the year, which is fine. I'm living with the romances. I love it. Uh, so I read a lot of new authors that were new to me. However, I cannot read all the books that I wish that I could read in the year because I just can't do it. <laughs> I have a full-time job, so I can't read all the time, but I wish I could. However, with the authors that I did find this year and that I read, I wish that I would have read more of their books. I wish that I could have fit them all in, but I can't. But you best be believing next year I'm going to. So I thought I would share with you guys the, it's either 14 or 15, I think it's 15. It's 14. It's 14 authors that I read this year that I wish I could have read more of but I'm definitely going to be reading more of in 2023. So the first author I want to talk about is K.A. Tucker. I had read The Simple Wild back in January and I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. It gave me the, that was like my first entry into romance this year. So, well, actually was it, it was either that or Ice Planet Barbarians. And I can't remember which one I read first, but I think it was, I think it was this one. So it's just kind of like my stepping stone into it. I had read romances like last year and everything, but this was like my step into not reading anything but romances after that. And I really enjoyed it. I've only read one of her books, but I do own the whole like Simple Wild series so I can finish that series. And I do know she has like a fantasy romance series out and she has a few standalones, but I enjoyed her writing. You're gonna hear that a lot, okay? <laughs> with a lot of these books or these authors, it's just gonna be like, I enjoyed their writing and I want to read more, but I enjoyed her writing and I want to read more. Okay, the next author that I want to definitely read more from is Sophie Lark. I read two books from her this year. I read The Brutal Prince, yeah, Brutal Prince and Stolen Air, and then I stopped. I stopped so hard with that series because the next book is Savage Lover and a lot of people say that's like their least favorite in the series. So I think I'm just like freaking myself out that I'm not going to enjoy that book. So like I started that book twice now and then I stop and I pick something else up and I don't know why other than what I just told you <laughs> with people saying it's like not their favorite. So, and I know like I can read ahead, like I can go and just read the next book, which would be, I think it's Bloody Heart. I could totally do that, but I'm not going to. I can't. My, my brain won't let me. I have to do things in order. So, but it's definitely going to be reading more of her. She's got the, the duet, like the serial killer duet. And then she has the Painmaker series, the Underworld series. She just came out with Anastasia. She's got so many and I need to read all of them next year. The next author is Macaulay Smeltzer in March or April. It was the end of March, beginning of April because I was waiting for the second book to come out. I had read The Confidence of Wildflowers on my Kindle and then The Resurrection of Wildflowers was coming out like that week. That's why I read the first one. I read the first one in a day and I don't do that. I don't do that. So Macaulay has like the honor of being <laughs> the one author that I read like her book in one day this year. That's how good it was. And I know people don't like the book. I don't care. Like to me, I love that book. I love the second book. It's just what I wanted. And it was, I loved it. But she's got more that I need to read. So 
hopefully next year I'll be able to prioritize some more of her backlist as well as she's got a new book coming out. It's like a rock star romance. So definitely have to get my fingers on that one as well. After that is Penelope Douglas. Okay, so I read Earth Day Girl last year in like September. I absolutely loved it. It is like my favorite Penelope Douglas that I've read so far. I mean, to be fair, I've only read three, but that's fine. We're not talking about that, but it's my favorite. And then this year I read Credence and Corrupt and I liked Corrupt and I, I didn't really like, I, just, I didn't really like Credence. Um, I guess I, I, I think I'm a minority in, in that. That's my opinion! I just didn't, I didn't like it. And I didn't like who she ended up with and, but I liked the writing and I liked the spice. I just didn't like who she ended up with and it's fine. It's fine. I have a whole all other video about that, but Penelope Douglas. I still have to finish the Devil's Night series. There's other standalone books that she's got. I do just need to read more of her and I don't even know if she's coming out with one next year. Probably, maybe, I don't know, but I'll read it eventually. It will be put onto my TBR and it will be eventually read. Next is Katie Roberts. I had, okay, I am totally lying on this list because I'm saying I'm ready, only read these this year. That's a lie. I'm pretty sure I read a little bit of Katie Robert last year. I read like a novella of hers. It was like an MFM novella, There's for the Night. I'm pretty sure I read that last year. But this year, I read more of her stuff and it made me more, what's the word I'm looking for? Interested, like <laughs> wanting to read her stuff. Uh, I had started the Disney Wicked Villain series um, I started the Dark Olympus series. So I, <laughs> I'm just all over the place today. It's, it's fabulous. Um, but I still want to continue with that. I like her writing. Some people don't enjoy it. I enjoy it. I like her spiciness. I like her diversity, her representation, all of it. I love watching her Instagram. She's just a great person. So I definitely want to fit in more of hers in the future. Uh, the next two authors are ones that I only, I've, I've only read one book by each of these, and that is Fiona Cole and Emily McIntyre. Fiona Cole, I read Voyeur back in May. I loved it. There's a theme to all of these authors. I love them. Uh, I enjoyed reading it. I would like to continue on with the series. I don't know if there's like four or five in like the Voyeur series. And then she has like a, another series, like blame it on the, whatever alcohol is, is in the title. <laughs> For each book it's like a champagne vodka tequila something like that but they're like small town romances but the voyeur is more taboo and i love myself some taboo so i definitely want to continue with her and then emily mcintyre has the twisted series which are like your villains from all our favorite disney or just childhood stories and they get their happily ever after so i read hooked this year which is just a peter pan retelling where hook gets the girl and loved it. Okay, I know. We know. We know! We know! That I loved it, but I did. I just have to continue with Scarred and then Wretched and then Twisted comes out, I think in February or March. But I really enjoyed it. Totally. Would, if you haven't read them yet, give them a chance. I really like them. Next is Tilly Cole. Uh, this year I read the first in the Hades Handman series and spoiler alert, I loved it. <laughs> I know, big shock. Uh, but I did not continue solely because it's heavy. The books are heavy. They're dark. You got to be in the right state of mind to read them. I just wasn't up for reading anymore at the time when I wanted to. I was just like, eh. I'm gonna give myself a break. But I didn't wanna go back. I think there's like eight in the series. There's a lot, but they're good. They're good. I, well, the first one's good. I can't really say about the other ones, but I'm sure they're good too. But last year I had read uh, A Thousand Boy Kisses by her, which is more of a YA, and it broke me and it. I sobbed. I ugly cried, but I loved that book so much that I know that if I read more of her, I will enjoy her books as well. Next is Anna Juan and 
I only read one of hers this year. I read Twisted, Ga Twisted Games? Nope, nope, Twisted Love. That is what I read. Uh, but I do have the whole Twisted series and I do have her new book out, King of Wrath, which is the King of Sin series that's coming out. So I have all the books, I just need to read them. I just need to prioritize them to read them. But like her spicy scenes, they're good too. Like all these authors have great spice and each one is like different, but like a good different. Because as if they were like, if it was bad spice, I would not be reading it. I would not continue. That is a hard DNF if like <laughs> the spicy, there's just something that it has to like make me feel things. It has to give me flutters, you know, in parts of my body that is normally dormant because I'm single. <laughs> but besides that, like it just has to give me those feels. And if an author can't do that, then why am I going to read your book? And why am I mm, the spiciest? So I need the spiciness. We then have Sarah Kate and she writes the Salacious Player series. I read the first book. I was introduced to Daddy Emerson and I loved it. Loved him. I'll be your secretary any day. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, read the book, then you'll know. Um, but she's got four books in the series. Five comes out next year. Five and six come out next year or just five? I don't know, but I will read them. I just have to read the rest of them. You don't have to read them in order, I don't think. But like I said, I I have to because my brain. It's just how it is. But if you haven't read them, give you do yourself a favor and like introduce yourself to Daddy Emerson because that man. Hmm. Then moment of silence for the queen who stole my heart this year. None other than Candy Steiner. <sighs> I'm still not recovered from A Love Letter to Whiskey. I have not recovered. I'll never recover. I think about that book daily. I think about what she did to me daily <laughs> to the, when I read that book. I don't know if I still have a clip, but I'll insert it if I do. I can't breathe. Oh. But that book wrecked me. It wrecked me. She put me back together. She tore me apart again. Then she put me back together. And then at the end, I was a blubbering mess and I absolutely loved it. And I have told her, I have, I, I spam her DMs and she's probably so sick of me, but that's okay. She's a very nice person and always answers. Uh, but after that, I, I read Say Yes in the fall. Or was it like no October? It was, well, it's fall. It was October. Um, I love that too. I don't think I've talked about it yet. And this, have I? I don't know if I talked about it in this on this channel yet. But I read it, loved it. But she still has a whole backlist. I have a whole candy shelf. You can't see, but it's over here. It's what I'm pointing to. She has so many books I have to read, and I have to reread Love Letter to Whiskey soon. It's because it's going to be an annual thing at this point. I love her so much, and she's got a new book coming out next year. Oh, I just can't keep up. I just can't keep up. We then go to Elsie Silver. Elsie Silver blew up this year. Everyone's talking about her. All of booktube's talking about her. All of bookstagram's talking about her with good reason. She writes really great books. However, the books that she wrote this year, I have not read. So I have not read Flawless. I have not read Heartless, but I did read Out of the Gate and The Front Row, no. What is that book called? The Front Runner and Out of the Gate. I read the novella prequel and the first book in the Gold Rush Ranch series. And I'm sure like she's gotten better with writing through the years. So I'm sure like she's even better now, but I really enjoyed like the Gold Rush Ranch, the first book. So I don't want to like skip ahead to like how she's writing now because then I might go back to Gold Rush Ranch and not enjoy that as much. So I'm just going to stick with going in order and work my way up to the Chestnut Springs series. Just let me live my life. The next author is Melissa Foster. I don't hear her a lot on booktube, but y'all are missing out if you're not reading. She's got the longest backlog ever. So like, 
pick a series and start with it because you can't go wrong. But I, okay, listen, if you like men who are dirty talkers, Melissa Foster. If you like women who are feisty and fiery, Melissa Foster. Like if you want spicy scenes, but do yourself a favor, like read. Okay. I want to tell you which books you can start with. Yeah. The Wicked series. So the first one's a little bit wicked. Oh, what is the series? I will put it here. I, I know what I'm talking about. It's a motorcycle club series. Read, read it and thank me later because I love her men. I love her men in those series. Oh my gosh. They're so dirty. Like talking. Whew. Okay. Moving on. The last author that I want to talk about is JT Geisner. Okay. So this past year, I read two books by JT. I read Pen Pal and I read Strain Perfect Strangers. If you want a ride, if you want a ride, go into Perfect Strangers. Just go into it blind. There's really not too many triggers. I'm trying to think if there was. Look up triggers, then go in blind <laughs> as much as you can. And for Pen Pal, go in blind, but know there's triggers. Look up your triggers. Know that it's not a romance. Know that it's more of a thriller with erotic scenes in it that it's but I still enjoyed it. I gave it a 4.5 because I knew this. I knew the twist. I knew the twist before going in because I was spoiled. If I didn't, that that's another that's another video. I already talked about that. But I am definitely going to be reading more. No questions asked. 2023, me and JT. It rhymes for a reason. Okay, everybody. Those are the authors that I wish I would have read more of this year. But I just didn't get a chance. But I will definitely be reading next year. Hold me accountable hold me accountable. Um, but let me know down below, what are some authors that you found this year that you absolutely loved? Or what are some that you're hoping to read next year? Or if you don't feel like leaving a comment, leave me an emoji, a Christmas emoji, because it is nine days till Christmas and I am thriving. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you're new, I would love for you to join the family. All my social media is linked down below as always. My Instagram and my Goodreads if you want to stay more up to date day to day with what I am reading. But I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Because I kind of went into my Christmas, my Christmas era. No, I didn't. I was reading my shirt and it says Christmas. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> I felt you coming. I felt you coming. That's what she said. Oh my gosh. I need to grow up. Penelope Double. Okay, the next book, the next book is not, we're not doing books. We're doing authors. You dummy. Okay. The last, I don't even know who the last author is. I'm already, okay.